Okay, everybody, if you're hungry, turn off this video right now. This is your warning right up front. Because what I'm going to do is teach you how to use the five senses to make your sales explode, okay? So you've been warned. This is your caveat here, okay? So, so if you're hungry, I'm always hungry, by the way. Uh, also, if you're a vegan, you may not like this. Just imagine, instead of me saying steak, I'm saying tofu. Imagine a steak on a barbecue, and it's grilling, and it's getting nice and crunchy on the outside. It's beautiful, a little pink in the middle there, and it's got a little salt and pepper on it, and you cut a little slice off, and you taste it, and it's that satisfying taste, and you can smell the, the cooked meat all over the house and in the backyard and everything, and you're hearing the sizzle on that grill as it's going and you touch it and it's soft and nice and warm to the touch while you're cutting it slicing it and everything and it's just the neighbors start looking and and you're you're biting into that say, okay what am I doing right now I'm using the five senses are you using your five senses in smells and I apologize to all my vegan friends out there I'm a recovering vegan I eat a lot of fresh fruit and vegetables but once in a while I do go carnivore uh, just once in a while um, you've got to incorporate the senses into your presentation or when you're asking questions under the guts method people react emotionally remember that emotional rule I always talk about the million dollar rule people make spontaneous immediate decisions if you can make them emotional what are the most popular videos on YouTube the food channel, all the different food um, uh, YouTubes there I love them they have millions and millions of followers because they people love food we all eat don't we maybe we eat a little too much sometimes that's why I got to run 10 miles a day but are you incorporating the different senses taste sight touch smell and sound in your presentations this is an integral part of the gut sales method. Nobody else is teaching this stuff, and I love sharing it with you because if you, when you speak to somebody about your product or service, after you set the agenda, and then you go into the qualification step, and you get the information, and you repeat it, but you repeat it with a story. You repeat it by using all these different senses about their needs, about what your product can do to solve their needs, and you put in all these senses, Somebody's going out for a steak dinner today, I'm telling you, or a tofu dinner. I like tofu also. And seriously, incorporate these five senses, taste, sight, touch, smell, and sound. Practice utilizing that in your presentation or when you ask questions or when you're dialoguing with somebody so you can paint a picture in their mind. I have another video that I did recently about painting pictures in people's mind. The way you do it is to make it emotional so that they start salivating. Remember the uh, thing in, in school, in high school, Pavlov's dog, whenever they rang the bell, they feed the dogs and then they stop. They wouldn't feed the dog, but they rang the bell and the dog still salivated. That's a conditioned response. We can actually do, this is one of the more sophisticated techniques that we teach in the gut sales method. And and uh, these are the things that, that make sales so much fun, that put you in control, and they actually get you to the bank so much more often. Sales is dangerous, but it can be very rewarding and a lot of fun if you have the guts method. So anyway, um, nobody deserves success more than you. That's why I share these principles, these rules that work so well with me. A lot of the rules I talk about are in my new book, The Gut Sales Method, The Rules of the Gut Sales Method. Go to my webpage, ClaudeDiamond.com. If you like these crazy Claude videos, give me a thumbs up, hit that little bell and subscribe there. Tell your friends about it, share it. And listen, I do answer my own phone, 970 281 -5151. Why doesn't anyone else give their phone number and say they'll answer their phone? Why don't they do that? Because they don't want to talk to you, but I do. Have a great day and use those five senses. Bye-bye. I think I'm hungry. Honey, can we have steak for dinner? She, she said, sure. See you later.